Hi everyone, I'd like to give you a brief overview of APA style. You're only going to use it once in this class for one paper. That will be a 500 word critical essay. But this is a college course, a required college course in the state of Idaho, and we want to use academic styles and that are appropriate for the type of class and the type of topic that we're we're writing on and, and in the speech arts, the American Psychological Association style is the preferred style. So we're going to learn the basics of that. I'm not going to get too picky about it, but I do want you to learn the fundamentals of APA style and write a paper in that style. To assist you, I have provided a link to the online writing laboratory at Purdue University, which is in the content folder for tutorials and other uh, helpful guides. That is very helpful in giving you an introduction to APA style. I've also provided you a copy of a paper written by a student in one of my prior CEI classes. And uh, I want, wanted to provide that to you simply to show you that A, it's doable by students in this class and that B, it's not particularly complicated. There are some quirks to how you cite your references in APA style, but once you get them, uh, you'll be fine. So here's a quick and simplified version of APA style. First of all, I don't want you to get too hung up on overdoing it. This is a 500 word essay, which sounds maybe like a lot, but it's it goes it, it's pretty fast. It's not a lot of words. It may only be four or five paragraphs by the time you're done. I want you to also write it in a critical essay format. And there is material elsewhere on Blackboard to help you understand what a critical essay looks like. But basically, you're going to make a thesis statement. You're going to have a, a body of the essay in which you essentially defend your position. And then you're going to have a, a closing that wraps it all together. Use basic APA format in your layout, which basically means you, you use one inch margins, you use a 12 point serifed font, so probably Times New Roman. You include an APA style reference page and you include APA citations. And the, the specific topic you're going to be writing on is you're going to be, and this is all part of the syllabus, but you're going to be selecting an oral, oral, oral presentation from YouTube and you're going to be doing a, a critical essay on the degree to which the speaker in that essay used ideas found in the textbook and how effective or ineffective the speech was. So you will at least cite both the oral presentation itself that you've chosen and the material in the textbook that you're, you are referencing. And you can choose to, to use additional references if you wish. Okay, things not to worry about. Don't write an abstract. A lot of papers require an abstract for a short paper like this. It's not it's not required, so don't worry about that. Don't separate your paragraphs with headings with like a, you know, introduction, uh, closing that kind of thing. Just draw don't use any any headings as part of the body of the essay itself. And APA has this very strange running head header that is required to use. Don't bother with that. Again, it's, this is only a one or two page, two or three page paper. And I want you to get the basics, but I don't want to get carried away. So don't worry about when you get it, run into the running head deal on OWL or elsewhere. Just ignore that. It's okay. So here is an example of how to use APA style. This again is from a student from this class. And you'll see that 
there are very specific ways to reference, to cite a reference. And it's basically you refer to the person's last name. You don't refer to their first name or the name of the book. Uh, you, you write the last name. And then depending on whether you are using a direct or indirect citation will change how you cite it. If it's an indirect citation, you simply at the end of the reference, at the end of the citation, you, you use the person's last name in the year in which the material was produced. If you're quoting as shown in the bottom example here in yellow directly, then you also need to use the page number. And there are various ways to do this. You, I would encourage you to go through the, the OWL guideline on the, the, um, at Purdue University. And if you have questions about whether a citation that you've written is correct, drop me a note and I'll, I'll give you, I'll assist you on it as long as you've you know given it your best shot and then i can i can help you walk through it because i do understand it's a, it's a little tricky i don't want you to have to go out and buy an apa style book they're fairly expensive and you may never use apa style again depending on what course you courses you will be taking in the future so the main thing is cite every all your references and understand the the various ways of citing. This is this trips a lot of people up uh, because they want to just use formats they've used in the past or make one up and and that's not what this is about. References again are very different from what you may be accustomed to. There is a place you can go that will help you build your references. It's called Bibme, B-I-B-M-E. And if you just Google Bibme, B-I-B-M-E, A-P-A, it will take you to a website where you can fill in the, the blanks that are before you and it will create the reference for you. I encourage you to do this. It's just, in fact, I, as, a, as a graduate student, I use this all the way through graduate school. I never got to the point where I was confident enough in my own ability to write a reference that I just wrote them out myself. Uh, so it's no big deal. Just do that um, and it will guide you right through how to create a reference for each of your citations.